good morning beautiful people it's another sunday again and we are on the last sunday of the month of september we are grateful for what god did for us in this month of september september brought a lot of goodies a lot of blessings and let a lot of things that made us to move forward and we want to glorify God for his faithfulness upon our life for giving us such a month that brought so much for us and we want to thank him for all he has been doing before and what he will continue to do in our life in the mighty name of Jesus we still have some days to go and months to go in this year and we believe that as we continue into this journey of life god will continue to protect us god will continue to guide us god will continue to lead us he will remove us from the evil plans of the enemy anyone staging war with you shall be cancelled this day in the mighty name of jesus anyone that does not want to see you move forward in life God will remove such person, individual in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. As we step into another new month, may God continue to guide us and lead us because we are in the ember months and so many things do happen in the ember months. And we pray that our head and our children's head, our husband's head shall not partake in any form of any evil anywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank God for the gift of life. I thank God for his grace. I thank God for everything he has done for us. So may God's name be blessed as we continue in his word. I have a word right now to give us from the book of Psalms. And it's coming from Psalms 107, our chapter, uh, the book of uh, Psalms 107. So I'll be reading from verse 1. May God bless you as you continue to listen and to uphold to the word of God. And verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And gather them out of the land, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to the, a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord, for he is good, and his goodness, and for his wonderful works for the children of men. For he satisfied the longing soul, and fill let the hungry so with goodness such as sit in darkness is such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death being bound in affliction and like iron because they rebel against the words of god and contempt the counsel of the most high 12 said therefore he brought down their hand and their heart with labor and they fell down and there was none to help 13 said then they cried unto the lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distress he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder all oh, that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful, wonderful, wonderful works to the children of men. For he had broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. So, this Bible verse is trying to teach us of how the goodness of God 
can be used to true praises and true worship. And these praises of God's goodness upon our life is how we have seen that the month of September favored us and blessed us. And we come out now to give God thanks and praises for all he has done for us because God has a way of manifesting his power and his glory upon our life. And the way God has seen us manifest his glory, he comes in his own way to bless us. He comes in his own way to bless us. He comes in his own way to bless us and to redeem us from anything that will take us backwards. So, this gift of life that we have today, that we breathe day by day, is only by the goodness of God that we have the mercy of his grace that is making us to breathe today and to stand firm in his word. And this goodness of God in praise that this verse just illustrated for us in Psalms 107, it was talking about God's children who were in the wilderness. That is, those people that were in distress, were in so much pain and have so much enemies around them. So God came to fight for them and God came to save them. And that is an example of the people who Pharaoh kept as captivity, which God came to rescue them and release them and they regained freedom from the hands of Pharaoh. So this is some kind of illustration that God has given us to understand how he can come against any rebellious spirit that is coming to walk against you or fight you or to do things against his will that is not according to his word. So God has a way of blessing us through his word. And this word is so powerful that he has given us to know the meaning of his word upon our life. And in verse 17, he says, Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. And verse 18 says, They are so abhorrent all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. So 21 says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men, and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing so this is the word of god that has given us the insight where, where he said in verse 20 he said he sent his word and he healed them and he delivered them from their destructions so he removed them from those destructions that will take them to eternal glory but he made sure he helped them and put them through and still help them and make sure that they regain their freedom and were set free. So are you free through Christ Jesus Christ? Are you a believer that serve God in truth and in spirit? So if you are one of them, so try to, to, to help yourself to grow spiritually and have this power of God in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. May God bless you and I wish you happy Sunday and everything you lay your hands in this week will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. So how do you have a wonderful Sunday today? God bless you. Happy Sunday.